Okay, good morning again, everybody. This is Hurricane Specialist Robbie Berg uh, with our first stop along our virtual tour. Uh, we're going to start off with the director, uh, Ken Graham, who's going to give us an overview of the National Hurricane Center, uh, his first experiences working in Alberta uh, this past week, and then uh, what we should be doing to prepare for uh, this hurricane season. So, Ken, uh, good morning. How are you doing? Good morning, Robbie. Thanks for doing this. And you know, welcome to the National Hurricane Center. I'm Director Ken Graham. And, you know, there's all sorts of different things in this building, parts of the building that people uh, recognize parts of it that, that they don't. So many different functions. And one of the things, one of the most important things we do is, is get the word out. It's not just the science, but it's getting the word out. And back over here, Robbie, you swing by. I mean, this is part of it. The first day of hurricane season, it's about getting the information, preparedness information, talking about the expectations of the season, and, and, and really getting the word out on what, what we can expect of and the preparedness aspects of what we do. So even the first day with no hurricane out there, but if we do have a hurricane, I got the, the first taste of it. With, uh, with Alberto, this is the this is the area. This is the area that we can show information about the latest storm. We have a screen in the back, and we have a control center here that we can actually switch from one computer to the next. You can see the different monitors. So we have an opportunity to show five different monitors on the screen because you know the old saying, "Picture is worth." a thousand words so we can actually show the latest you know you, you really look at what the aspects are and, and one, one of the big things that we have to do it's not just knowing the track what are the impacts and this is an opportunity to talk about here's what we expect when it comes to the rainfall the storm surge this is what we can expect when it comes to the potential tornadoes this is all about getting the word out and so much science in the building Robbie, it's amazing. I mean, we're standing right here in the in the HSU area. It's called the Hurricane Specialist Unit. And over here where John is with the red shirt doing a great job for us today, uh, this is where the magic, all the magic happens. This is where the forecast is actually created, the cone and where it's going to go, the intensity, the strength. John, I mean, what I'm going to ask you, what, I mean, what's, what, what's your favorite part about the job and, and what's the most challenging? Well, my favorite part actually is communicating some of the hazards. I think a lot of people know a little bit about hurricanes, but trying to message about hurricanes and trying to get the forecast right is my favorite part. And also, Ken, that's the most challenging as well. I, I, I'll, all I can say is, you know, I've, I've known everybody in this building for decades, basically, but to be able to work with them with some of the best tropical scientists like, like we have right here with John, I mean, what an honor to be in this building working with everybody. I can tell you it's very humbling. I saw it in Alberto. I've seen it for decades. And just to thank you for what you do. I just appreciate everything, man. And we're going to talk to John a little bit more later when we give more a, kind of more in-depth uh, overview of the Hurricane Specialist Unit. So right. stay tuned for later this morning. You get to talk more. You get to <laughs> really get the, the real uh, the, the meat that's going on in here. But this is just one of the, the, the units that we have. Across the hall here, uh, Robbie's going to take you in there later as well. That's the Tropical Analysis Forecast Branch. You know, it, what's amazing about them, 24 hours a day, 24 hours a day, this group is sitting here issuing marine forecasts. They're looking at the details, like winds. They're looking at uh, the, the swells, the seas. They're, they're keeping mariners safe, the Pacific, the, the Gulf of Mexico, the Atlantic, the Caribbean. I mean, these guys are in here and gals all the time, really, really paying attention to every detail of that forecast, looking at you know, how well um, the ships can cross these, these navigable waters, and, and that's why it's amazing. Just 24 hours a day, they're keeping an eye on this. And behind the scenes, we have we have a technology a branch that it's a science. None of this happens without tons of science. We can, we talk about the communications like we did with the the media here and talking about the, all the computers and the screens. There's science behind all this. There's a whole unit here uh, concentrating the science and the modeling and the technology. You can see it's a sea of computers. They all have to work in the heat of the battle. And, and we have a whole group that, that helps us with that. Even in addition to, to these units, we actually have a storm surge unit. Storm surge is the number one reason that we have fatalities in tropical systems. We have a whole unit dedicated to, to the modeling, looking at uh, the latest information. Think about this, I mean, inches matter. And, and if you think about you know, the floods that we have on the, on the coastline and how far inland that they go, they, they're running models, they're looking at this. And with Alberto, looking at the potential for two to four feet and keeping the, the storm surge watch going the, the entire time. These are decisions, these are the discussions that go on behind the scenes here at the Hurricane Center. So, you know, you're gonna have an opportunity. Robbie, you're gonna take them to each different unit. You're gonna meet some of the folks here. That's a huge important thing for me, is to meet the people here, because it's not just a machine. It's not just a computer. There's human beings here uh, that they really care, doing everything that they can to keep America safe, and, 
and beyond, the world safe, uh, through the Caribbean and, and, and also Central America. This, this is what we do for a living, and we're always proud to show it. So lastly, Ken, thank you for all that, but I want to ask about you. So every, not everybody knows who you are yet, and we're just getting introduced to you. So where are you from originally? Where were you working before you came to the Hurricane Center? And how happy are you to be in Florida now? <laughs> well, so it's interesting because I've, I've wanted to do this since I was seven years old. I, I, I said that in, in several of the interviews. And believe it or not, I grew up in Arizona. And people, the first thing, they, they have this weird look on their face. They're like, Arizona? What, what, I don't understand. Hurricanes? And it was. It was you know being evacuated as a kid. I didn't understand why we were being evacuated because of the flooding. And when I went to my encyclopedia, or the internet, I, so I went to my encyclopedia and found out it was tropical moisture coming up from Mexico and Baja that, that you know, our six inches of rain a year all of a sudden became six inches in a day, and that's not good. And, and it was that that really got me in, into this. So the last 10 years I spent as the meteorologist in charge of the, the National Weather Service in New Orleans, plenty of disasters, floods, uh, hurricanes, tornadoes, even, even winter weather was shut, shut down that city. So a lot of experience the last 10 years in New Orleans. So think about it, all that experience, wanted to do this since I was seven. What an honor it is to be here. Robbie and work with people like you and, and everybody in this building. Everybody cares so much. And it's just brilliant scientists. It's, it's an honor to be here without a doubt. Well, thank you so much, Ken. Uh, again, everybody uh, stay online. We'll be back at 930 uh, to talk with the Storm Surge Unit and see what they do. So uh, again, thanks, Ken, for Absolutely. joining us this morning.